Alright. So what are we doing today? Show shifter. Because in this bitch. Because this is, is not okay. I mean, look at this. Look at this travel. That's first. That's second. God damn. That's worse than the beamer. Yeah. yeah so we're gonna take bad. that baby off and put this new ISIS. I think it's the version two uh thing that they offer. Short shifter. They have different like uh throws, like short shorter and then longer. This one's supposed to like uh shorten it by like fifty percent. Oh okay. I mean you could you could feel that this this shit is like Yeah, but short. really yeah, but really you're not gonna you can't really feel it until you put it in. Because uh it changes the fulcrum point. No, yeah, that of course, but just letting you know. This shit is That's a pretty big word. I know it's a pretty big word. Ful fulcrum. <laughs> Does it even fit on this shit? I didn't yeah, even bro. test it. Yeah. Why does this shit like spin so free? What is it supposed to do? Yeah, it's just the weight. So basically, we were gonna be in. Mouth, bro? Nigga, this shit's not like. Yeah, this shit goes on forever. Look. God damn. Right. Oh yeah, it fits. It's the same yeah. thread? Yeah. Epic. Alright, so basically we're gonna take out the trim first, which is half broken, so there you go. Damn bro, you don't break in one. No bro, the same spot. <laughs> you know there was a guy on the on your last two forty video that he said that uh that he's glad to see a 240 that still has interior. <laughs> Shit. I don't think you gotta take this out. No. Yeah, I don't just, think so just a, it's a size I think 10. It's a 10 yeah. They got both. four bolts right there to take out this boot. Or oh, we can get a zip tie too to hold this boot down like that. So it looks epic. This shit wasn't even holding this shit. That shit's loose, nigga. Look, loose in there. No, yeah, but these aren't supposed to be super tight. It's just holding a little boot. See? It was, this one was like 10 bucks cheaper. And supposedly it's better than that one. What's how my mint interior, man? It's my mint thing. dash. Is this the same one that that guy, uh, 240 SF, put up? Yeah. The same stage and everything? Yeah, the second version. Because uh, his was pretty epic, though. Yo, like, his was, was like super short, so... It's the same transmission from S14. Wait, put it in neutral. Taking this bitch out. Yeah. Oh, your shit leaking like a motherfucker. God damn. Yeah, it shit's like they didn't put a gasket there. See how it's like open? Yeah. Whatever. We'll take that shit out and clean it out. Alright, I didn't bring I'm I've been fucking dress clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go get the right tools for this and then we'll be right back. You good bro? Right here it doesn't go. Alright, watch out. This shit. Right here I can. You see? Yeah, it's loose. You're gonna have to go to the backyard again and try to get the 12 in this. Cause we need little ones, not that long ass shit that you got. It's just like getting hard in there. Yeah, because now you can't take it out, right? see? You can't twist this shit? No, it's all one piece. You got a 12 in that one? Uh, ho hopefully. Go check. I don't know if I have it or not. Uh, we're going to try to crack these loose. It's basically that board right there, that one. Uh, there's one right there. One under that one, which is, yeah, right there. It's kind of a bitch. And then there's two more over there. So you're most likely going to need a wrench. It's a size 12, I guess. 
you're gonna need a wrench these are pretty long so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get these that they have a little curve on them so be right back all right so while I'm doing this down here trying to loosen the, the bolts he's gonna do the most useful modification to the car because man this shit look at this while I'm driving this shit just Gah, 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 gah. Nah, I can't do that shit, man. So he's gonna take those out, which is basically one fucking screw that they put in there. It's probably the hardest screw of life. And then you're gonna take this one out too. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna take those out, and then I'm gonna do this. Nah, is that some nigga was listening to uh, some other nigga's mixtape there? Yeah, that's the guy's mixtape. Yo, we were just talking about that nigga. Bro, Yo. is that a car? Bro. Nah, nigga, don't stop. Keep going. The fire she gonna blow up? Oh, that's the yo, that's the truck. Get get out of here, Willie. Go, yo. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, Willie, get the fuck out of here. Shit blows up, nigga. <laughs> yo. You about to die. <laughs> you about to die. Alright, so we took out the head visor things, whatever. Uh, managed to get them all six bolts out. It was uh, really easy, actually. <laughs> nah, it wasn't. It was really fucking hard. It took us, like, what, like, fucking two hours to take this shit out? Yeah. Somewhere around two hours. So Cause this fucking shit wouldn't let us yeah, really I think take those out. I really think it's aftermarket. Oh, it does have RTV. I got some in the back, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Bro, that's why it was so loose. What? It, does, it didn't even have a bushing, like, on the shifter thing. Look. See? Fucking. Wow. Just wow. Yeah. So, here, take this shit out. Throw it into the lake. Wait, no, <laughs> we need the bolts, bro. Yeah. Gotta take out the bolts from that. Let me get the little small driver's shit. What the fuck is this? There's a fucking spring right here. I'm guessing we need it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it in the same spot. Where was it? It was like a spring that was like right fucking here. I don't know. There's that a spring there. Oh, let me just put it back in. Look. Put that shit back in. It's a little spring that goes there. That little hole right there, that circle, is where you put the bushing. Uh, that white bushing in for the shifter that's pretty much it kind of kind of easy i'm going to clean this up now and then uh i'll fit the new one on there i'll fit the new one on there and i'll be right back all right so um we put some more tv on the bottom of the short shifter and um i put some grease on the little bushing on the bushing from the selector rod, I mean the selector. Ah, fuck my fucking finger was <laughs> From the shift selector. And the, the, there it's hand tight now. It's a lot easier now to do this because. Well, we'll show you in a second what the other fucking shifter yeah. looked like. And why it was so hard before. And actually, we think that it was OEM because it has like OEM part number in the back. But um, we'll show you a little trick to make it easier, which we didn't find out until we took it all apart. Until we took it out of the car. If these were lined up, I think the front ones will line up easily. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just hand tightening them anyway. So these are obviously a lot easier to put in because uh, there's no plate here, like blocking the the shit. If you want to do it right the right way, you have to uh, hand tighten all these bolts. Wait an hour for the RTV to skin over, and then you you torque them to spec. Uh, that's kind of what we're gonna do, cause damn, this one didn't have like a little washer on it. No. 
fuck it. Oh, yeah, you don't see. Yeah, you, can put, you can put the other thing to be like on top of shit. And then, uh, I'm gonna put the other one. I'm gonna put the other two in the back from under the car, which uh, it'll be easier. And then uh, I'm gonna wait the hour, and then come back and uh, talk to the suspect, put everything together, and uh, you guys will be able to see how much. You can already tell how much stiffer this is. No play back and forth or whatever, because it actually has a bushing this time. It's been an hour. We just finished torquing it down. Go ahead, bro. Feel feel it. Feel the. Hold up, bro. I'm, I'm short, so I have to do up. <laughs> it already looks pretty fucking good, bro. There you go. As you guys can tell before how sloppy it was, and obviously now. They put, put this shit on? Yeah, but we still have to put the rest of it. Remember? Third, fourth. Nigga. This shit is even shorter than mine. Damn, this is nice. I'm jealous. Don't be, bro. Yeah, put that shit on it. Wait, with this. Alright, basically, we're gonna reassemble this. Probably put a zip tie right here or something. Yeah, to keep that shit right there. Yeah, to keep it right there. So that no heat comes in and shit, and then we'll uh, we'll show you the difference in uh, in in shift throw. All right, so we put everything back together as much as we could, and as you can see, it's a lot stiffer. First of all, it's a lot stiffer. Look, that's in gear. Look, really, in gear, and then second, third. Fourth, fifth, reverse. Damn, that shit is so nice. Definitely worth. I think. Well, how much was it? It was like eighty bucks, right? Eighty bucks. It was like eighty dollars. Def, a hundred percent worth this shit. A lot better than getting a, a Chinese copycat part. Like the like the one that. Or yeah. This shit. That shit. Look, look, look at this. There's still another piece to it. Yeah. This piece was the one that was blocking yeah. us from getting the actual yeah. like bolts that were here. So if you have something like that and you're trying to take out that shifter to put a short shifter in, just <laughs> throw it away like that. <laughs> you could just bang it with a hammer or something. We were worried to like break like a piece off of the transmission. Yeah. But if you bang it with a hammer just enough, it'll like that cap will actually come out so that you can easily access the other uh, bolts in there. That's pretty much it. Probably a quick video of us doing this. It's not a, not a long video at all probably. But uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool little upgrade for the car. Definitely a good upgrade. Yeah, but yeah that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Like it if you liked it. I'm dirty as fuck. Share it with your friends. All right. If you Peace don't up. have friends, make new friends for us. Yeah, that's our model, basically. <laughs> All right. Listen.